Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Y-Key tempered glass uh, screen protector for the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite. This is the thing, it was super cheap on Amazon. You can see the thing, it says it's uh, tempered glass 9H or H9. A lot of people say there is no H9 glass. Uh, it's a cheat, but anyway, uh, I had always something like that. Whenever I had a phone, I bought such things, and uh, they did really well till now. Protected uh, my glass. I mean, it was not actually necessary, but I had always a good feeling about that, and that has usually this glass. Uh, after using, broke it, and it was really glass and not plastic I had some time ago I mean, I mean a couple of years ago I had plastic ones and but since the glass ones are around I've always been using them and I mean I have also been using them or suggested them for our kids and they have uh, been really doing well because they drop their phones a lot and I think here we get some instructions looks like it's pretty much the same for everything. I hope this really works. Looks uh, quite similar to uh, other products which did not work. I mean, at least I have tested at least one and uh, it, it, it was not working at all. So uh, you can watch that video, but actually there's no need to do that. It's a waste of time, waste of money. I sent this back. This it looks quite similar but there is that's strange there is just uh there's not a drying towel there's just a, like a wet towel probably there's not uh, a dry towel but of course we have this dry towel or anti-static towel that's yeah that's okay and we have this dust absorber still not knowing what the guide sticker is maybe you can tell me if you know what it is i don't know um I'm using such things since a long time. I have never seen why I would need a guide sticker. You can say if you're satisfied or not. If you're satisfied, probably uh, they ask you to leave a review on Amazon. Here is how this works. I think it's, it's pretty much the same. There has been instructions on Amazon uh, to clean of course then remove the uh, sticker in the back and uh, push it down in the uh, I mean uh, like center everything and push it down in the middle so I'll do this right away I'm showing you what that is hope you can see that maybe we can focus on that it says entry micro antiseptic entry uh, anti-static anti yeah okay why not Keep away from eyes, remove dust, sterilize, sterilization, something like that. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, we have we definitely have some dust. I'll do this in real time. I, I'm not going to cut this. So you ha get an idea how long it could take. I'm not, uh, I mean, I'm not super experienced. I'm just average uh, user. This is a little bit wet, but not too wet. I'm not scared about the whole thing. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm using both sides. So, hope that should make it pretty clean. So, after that, I'm wiping it with the anti-static towel. So, usually it should be pretty good here we have some things but anyway i'm usually doing the whole screen with the uh with the this sticker so i think it doesn't hurt as long as you don't have any fingerprints on it then i usually check from the side if there's something yeah it's a little strange I think I caused some uh, things, some like uh, fingerprints with this sticker. Not so good. So I wipe it off. So 
Yeah, uh, actually, uh, I don't recommend now when I see this, I don't really recommend to use the sticker as long as you don't use it. So I think I just was looking from the side and yeah, you have to be really careful about this sticker. But now it looks pretty good. Okay, so let's hurry before new dust settles in. So that's the top of course here we have the top as well so let's put it to, uh, on the right side so this sticker is down check again for dust still no dust visible last check we remove the cover try to adjust that's always the most difficult part I don't know that was not so good I think yeah, it's somehow almost floating on the thing. I don't know if that's a good sign. And now I didn't do anything. You, you see that it's spreading out and I have one silly thing in the middle. Not good. I lift it up again and you see, hope you have been able to see that. That's awesome. Yeah, it's not fully centered. Um, I don't know, maybe I have to readjust that. So I lifted this thing up again and did the whole process again. And the good thing is, as long as it's not settled in and not, uh, yes, yeah, started to sticking, uh, I have been able to move it a little bit. Now it's st fully sticking, but you can do this as many times as you wa want as long as you don't get any dust underneath of course if you get dust underneath it's done uh, it's, uh, yeah you probably won't have any chance to remove dust from the uh, from underneath this um, like the from from the protection uh, glass because uh, it's some kind of glue uh, I mean, at least usually there is some kind of glue and when the dust sticks on the other side on the glue side there's no way to get rid of that it's still not perfect but it's not bad I'm turning on the thing I mean of course the screen protector is visible um, yeah I'll, I have my phone started I'm gonna try to use that and see how good it, the screen still works so I'm doing a little bit of swiping and it looks like there's no big problem. I don't see, yeah, I don't know how it works on the side, but yeah, actually it looks pretty good. So we'll go to a website and check if we can, yeah, we can slide up and down easily and visibility is still perfect. If I didn't know that there is a screen protector on that, I, I, I would not realize. So my first screen protector was a little bit uh, bigger on the side. And yeah, but uh, as you know, uh, it didn't work. I already told you and you can watch the other video. It was devastating. It had so many bubbles I mean at least 10 to 20 percent of the screen was covered with bubble this doesn't have any bubble uh, and it um, yeah I don't see any difference in uh, appearance so apart from at the edge of course because it's a little bit smaller you can see there's a small gap here all the way around that I mean, this is going down at the bottom. There's no problem, but at the top, there's a, a little bit. Yeah, was I was a little bit missing out here as well as you can see with the camera. But I mean, it's a good thing to have the camera here, the selfie camera, spread as bad out because it's the first screen protector. I had these really small rings. It was just like cut out or like a punched out holes. 
and it was super super easy to align i mean it didn't work at the end i had 10 to 20 percent uh, bubbles at the end i couldn't get rid of that here this thing was really working absolutely awesome it has a little bit less protection but at the end the the, the most important thing is that it works that you don't have bubble that is the bubbles that it's easy to apply you have decent protection when it's too difficult to apply uh, it doesn't help uh, yeah when, when you have a lot of troubles when you have a lot of bubbles uh, at the best screen protector doesn't help so I'm really happy with that uh, this is the thing you have to buy there are so many for the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite which are not working there are so many bad reviews this is the thing you want I'll put down the link in the description you can order that right from there uh, on Amazon uh, you don't actually need to read the instructions when you have seen the video so everything good so far hope I have been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time